Welcome to the show. For the past seven years, a North Little Rock project has been making great strides behind the scenes, but soon we will begin to see this evolution with our own eyes. Tonight, THV 11's Mercedes McKay shows us what we have coming our way in the Levy and Park Hill neighborhoods in 2020. Donna Marlisa, plans for this project started back in 2013, all because of passionate and concerned business owners and residents who wanted to make their community more intentional. Now, they'll get to see all their hard work come to life. It's been a long process. People are excited to see results and eager to see them. It all started seven years ago when neighbors, business owners, and city officials put their heads together with one main goal in mind. Making a plan to construct JFK in such a way that it would be safer, more walkable, and more inviting to local businesses. Thanks to a $3 million grant from Metro Plan, building codes and road standards have been put in place to make the Park Hill and Levy neighborhoods in North Little Rock a more vibrant and inviting community really is one that needs to be built to an area where people can really get out and enjoy it more. Part of this enjoyment means work for the city by beautifying the area, redoing medians, raising the streets, and most importantly, creating more walkability. Being that, that JFK is a state highway, um, it gets a ton of traffic, it's busy, it's cars moving fast. City officials say right now the sidewalks are about six foot wide with no buffer. The Jumpstart program would expand these sidewalks and neighbors tell me this expansion is vital. Our goal is for a young mother with a baby in a stroller walking a dog to safely cross JFK. Stephanie Minyard has lived in Park Hill for nine years and she says it's an eclectic neighborhood with parks, historic homes and a lot of potential to bring people in. We want them to say, hey, what's going on in Park Hill? And be able to pull over and, and want to live here, want to shop here. Bringing in more shoppers is what David Larson, owner of Angry Dave's Bicycles right on JFK, says will be much easier once the streetscape breaks ground. Most of the time, people are driving by at 40, 50 miles an hour and never even look to the right or the left to see who's here. From business owners to neighbors to city officials, the Jumpstart Project bringing excitement through the streets. Kind of back to the old Andy Griffith, Mayberry type of feel to things. Now you'll have the chance to hear more about the Jumpstart Project this Thursday at Park Hill Presbyterian Church at 6 o'clock. Everyone is welcome to come and listen in on the details, ask questions, and give your own input.